I can't believe this is actually happening. Dan Slott returning to Spider-Man comic books? Holy cow. Guys, I'm Mike Spider Slayer. You're back at Comic Book Corner 2.0. Let me tell you guys, I can't believe this. The adjectiveless book of Spider-Man is getting ready to return. And let me tell you, Dan Slott is writing this book. However, his artist is going to be Mark Bagley. Now, a lot of people hate Dan Slott for what he did to Spider-Man and what he did on his time in the Amazing Spider-Man run. However, he is the writer that wrote the most issues of Amazing Spider-Man ever. He's also done things with the character that no one ever did with the character. He's the one that created the Superior Spider-Man series. If you guys have not read that series, it's actually pretty good. And considering, you know, that when Dan Slott took over the Amazing Spider-Man title, there was no consistent writer on the title at that time. Now, technically, really, we've only had one writer since Dan Slott left the Amazing Spider-Man title. That was Nick Spencer, right? He completed his run, and now we're starting on the Zeb Wells. So... I think this is not all that bad. I know people hate Dan Slott for what he did with Spider-Man, but I think some of his stories were actually very creative, especially since toward the end of his run when he created the Red Goblin and whatnot, and he had a lot of emotion in his books where I feel that Nick Spencer did not. Now, what is this new Spider-Man book going to offer? Well, like I said earlier, it's going to offer Mark Bagley. I am totally excited about that. I mean, so at least you're going to get top-notch artwork, unlike the current Amazing Spider-Man story, right? And what you're going to get is you're going to get stories that obviously tie into what, you know, Dan Slott is going to be doing with the Edge of Spider-Verse. I think it's going to play off off of that. It's going to have Morlin, which will be the initial bad guy, I think, in the beginning, because obviously we see preview art to this. He's going to be wearing that new, uh, which looks like Norman Osborn suit to begin with as well. Um, so this book looks like it's going to be tying into the Amazing Spider-Man book. Which, I don't mind. I think that's actually cool. It kind of reminds me of the old days when we had, like, multiple Spider-Man titles. When we had Amazing Spider-Man. When we had Peter Parker Spectacular Spider-Man. We had Spider-Man, right? As long as they, they have their own good stories, I don't care. And if it does cross over every once in a while, that's alright. Now, you guys may think, oh god, yeah, this is a cash grab because now you can buy, have to buy two Spider-Man books to maybe get the whole story. Whatever the case may be, I don't think this is necessarily a bad thing, especially when you have Bagley on the art. And the one thing I can say about Mark Bagley is he's not one of those artists where you're going to get six issues of him and then he's going to disappear. He may do quite a few issues and then take a break, but he'll always return. That man knows how to draw Spider-Man in the back of his head. He is most famously known for Spider-Man. So, at the end of the day, guys, I think this is actually going to be a pretty cool thing. You know, take it for what it is. Maybe Dan Slott's got more up his sleeve. Maybe all this time while he's been writing Fantastic Four, he's like, man, I got a lot more to tell when it comes to the Spider-Man universe. So... We'll see, guys. Like I said, I have read so many issues of Dan Slott. Not all of them are perfect, but some were good. And I guess you can say that with a lot of other titles as well. When you have your favorite creators write a character, not every story is good, right? But we'll see what happens with it. I want to know in the comments below, guys, what do you think of Dan Slott writing a new Spider-Man comic book? I think it's going to be interesting. I can't wait. We'll find out. Guys, if you love my content, I'll leave you more content right here to check out. And of course, guys, keep buying, keep collecting, but most importantly, always read your comics. Guys, thank you so much. Bye.